back into this game and we noticed that they have too. They've put Mark Hovey from uh, the halfback flank. They've snuck him down to full forward. They've put Calvin McLean from the flank into the uh, centre. Ooh. Yeah, good. And I see uh, Mick Wood on the ball too mm. in this yes, opening and, third uh, quarter. Yes, I notice uh, Michael Meeson has lined up at the centre half forward position. So uh, let's hope that this will bring the boys back. Anyway, this though, John's takes a very well judged Ooh, ball. About to play on defense. too. Mm. But fortunately there for the Modawari defence, so he's offline and a minor score. Mm. That's the se only the second point uh, for the uh, afternoon to the Eastern Suburbs side. And uh, as we uh, said earlier, the wind is pretty treacherous here and this is unbelievable football from uh, from them to kick uh, so accurately. Yes, but then again, I think that uh, Modawari can consider themselves fairly lucky that John's only kicked a point there. I thought he should have kicked a goal. Anyway, Skeen brings the ball back into... Uh, play now. Wood sets himself. Lockyer takes the ball on the halfback flank area. Kicks Motawari forward. The ball's taken by Spence. Handball's on to uh, Cripps. Cripps has a bounce. Go for a run, son. Kicks the ball long. Looking for someone up forward. And, oh, yes, that was very good hands there by uh, Mark Hovey. Uh, Mark used his body there. Just give Jimmy Douglas a bit of a nudge out at the right time. And we'll kick for goal some. 25 to 30 metres out on a slight angle. Just and while we're waiting there too, I noticed uh, is it David White and Peter Goodwin who were picked in the side, not out on the ground? No, they uh, couldn't make it back from Darwin at the uh, truth be known, uh, Ronnie. Was that Wayne Stiles kicking that goal? No, that was Mark Hovey if you had been watching instead of reading the paper. I'm uh, sorry, Mark. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, well, straight away there, that move of uh, Hovey to the forward line has paid dividends. Badly needed goal because the third quarter in any game of football is the vital quarter. Well, it's and the that, premiership quarter, isn't it, Ronnie? That's the one, and uh, only time will tell. As I'm not a worry, I've got off to a flying start and kicked the first six-pointer of this a very important term. Yes, let's hope they can uh, bring a few more in to uh, make something of this game at this stage. But so far, their uh, changes have, as I said, have paid dividends. The umpire bounces, Prello goes up. The ball's taken by McLean from the centre. Kicks long towards the forward line. Up they go, no one takes it. Meeson grabs it out of the ball. Has a flying shot for goal and is off line. Bad luck on that occasion. The ball uh, looked pretty good off the boot there for a moment. Yes, Ronnie, well, as a real... Uh, Mui, uh, Moose always tends to put them ones through. Usually he gets the ball like that, it's put your glasses down. Well, he's got a 50% strike rate at the present time because he's kicked two goals too, so he'd be reasonably happy with that. Well, I think so. Last week, or sorry, two weeks ago in the uh, second semi, he had a bit of a dirty day, really. He, oh, he took, uh, kicked four goals, eight, but uh, hopefully he can do better today. Yeah, that's uh, Craig Spence up there on the half forward line yes. working pretty hard there. He's just having a little bit of a wrestle Ooh. here with, uh, with old Reg there. Not yes. too. Just ex exchanging a few pleasantries. Oh, I think so. You know, just say, you know, how's your mother and so forth, you know. Uh, <laughs> that's what you get in big time football, Ron. That's it. Anyway, the ball's out of bounds. Boundary throw in. Ruckman set themselves. Wood got the tap away to no one in particular in 10 yards the other side just in front of the Beaumont's sign on the outer side will be brought back into play Wood gets Good the tap. tap over to Stoop Stoop looks down forward kicks towards Meeson oh out comes Jimmy Daglas and takes a very comfortable chess mark considering the size of this man he's not that tall he can play a bad game really doesn't he? Oh, no. He's still a mongrel, but that's another story, perhaps. <laughs> Reggie's trying to do everything with the ball. You can't do it on your own, son. Oh, he's worn one in the mouth, too, I think. I'd like to see that one on the slow-mo, Ronnie, but uh, anyway, more of that later, perhaps. Wood takes the ball. Looks down forward. Kicks. It's a high kick. Kicking Motawari into attack, where Bertie Van Bar takes a comfortable overhead mark. Have something to say, Ronnie, while I have a drink, please. Not a problem. He brings the ball out to the member side of the ground, which is the attacking side. Uh, flying high there was Lockyer. He can't take the ball, but the Shark can. Oh, he was spent pretty solidly there by uh, don't Ashley mind. Davis has uh, cleaned him right up. And, uh, well, I thought for mine it was a pretty fair hip and shoulder, but uh, the well, umpire... If you don't mind one in the head, Ronnie, I suppose it's all right. The umpire and Steve Allison has suggested that uh, it was a little unfair, and uh, Peter... Uh, 
Grozdanovsky now. Shark. <laughs> Hope he goes off. <laughs> Is going to have. Uh, no, he can't take his kick, so he's not too good, but Mark Cairns can. Uh, Cairns now kicks to the centre of the ground. Pack of players fly. Well fisted there by Spence. Straight to Stoop. He's under pressure, though, from Spiner. But oh, Cripsy comes through. Gets a quick kick up to half forward. In front, he's been playing well, that big fella there in uh, Paul Mason. Spills out to where we see Henderson feed off to uh, no, Stoopy. McLean. McLean, was it? Uh, they terrible two, those two. Mm. And uh, we see the umpire now say that uh, there's been a trip and the free kick to be taken by the Mottawari half forward and Ruck Rover in a Ronnie Stoop. Kicks the ball along the teeth of goal. It's a great kick. A pack of players fly. Oh, held without the football there was Paul Meeson. No free kick forthcoming because I think the umpire didn't like the thought of kicking a goal. And uh, another minor score. They don't like giving those ones on the forward line, Ronnie. I've noticed that a lot. Oh, unbelievable, these umpires. When I was umpiring, mate, I used to love kicking them. Oh. Used oh. to love it. Anyway, Van Barr brings the ball back in now. As he's kicking well, oh, Craig Spence comes out and takes a very strong chest mark. Some 45 metres out from goal on the outer side on about a 30 degree angle. Steadying now is Spence. Comes in, kicks. Normally a pretty kicks. good kick of the football, isn't yes, it? Yes, kicks high. Looking for someone up forward. Oh, up goes Mason. Missed the mark. Whiffen's in there. Bailey gets it out, brings it out to attack. Oh, no, she's hello. on. She's on. Oh, look at this. What's it, happening? What ooh. an ugly scene. In goes the... Oh, look at ooh. the runner in there. Oh, if you don't mind, umpire. Who's that runner? That's uh, Billy Brad Meehan, the eastern suburbs runner. What's he doing there? Get out of that sun. That's the ugly side of football, Ron. Yes, we're here to uh, watch the football, aren't we? We can uh, pay you... Uh, Fifty-five dollars for a, a ringside seat. If you want to see that sort of uh, frivolity. Yes. Anyway, Spence has the ball. Kicks Mottawari into attack again. They set themselves. To, oh, that's a strong mark oh, by Moose in front. He's got good hands, Ron. Oh, tremendous grab in front there. Strong as an ox and uh, very, very uh, creative up forward. Actually, this is his brother. Yes, that's uh, Michael Moose. Michael, who hasn't had uh, an opportunity to kick at goal as yet. And he could have an opportunity to uh, open his account from 20 or 25 metres out from goal. The kick looks pretty good from here. Splits the centre of the woodwork here at the Western Oval. Uh, kicks his first and uh, Mottawari's sixth. And I would suggest that they're uh, back in it again. Well, they've got a long way to go yet, but uh, they're certainly looking a lot better in this third quarter thus far. I said sixth. I do apologise. It's their fifth goal. I wish it was their sixth, Ronnie. 5-7 Mottawari. Trailing uh, Eastern Suburbs on nine goals, two. Kirby bounces. Up they go. Perello gets a tap over the head to no one in particular. Yes, Bungie's in there, gets the ball. Kicks hurriedly towards the Eastern Suburbs forward line. It's taken by uh, that man, Bomber Cantwell. Where, oh, there's the man. He's had his number taken a bit earlier. Wayne Stiles gets the ball. Kicks wide out towards Calvin McLean, I think that was. Cripps has the ball now, will go forward, breaks the tackle, kicks long, looking for someone down the forward line, the ball's bounced, it's taken by Bertie Van Bart, impenetrable a little, as I have said on the <laughs> half-back line. Bit of a mouthful, mate. Yes, it is when you're having a mouthful of beer too, but uh, <laughs> Bertie's, Bertie's certainly played very well and kicks the ball out on the, just in front of the Malachiv uh, sign on the outer side. Up they go. Ball's taken by the Eastern Suburbs player. Quick hands there by uh, Cantwell. Bit scrabbly now at the moment, but uh, the umpire says, give it to me, son, and we'll come in and bounce. OK, we've, uh, the, clock, the clock's been ticking on now to some, uh, I would suggest, about 18 minutes of this third quarter have been played. As we see a quick kick there by uh, Rundle out to all. Copy one there was McLean. Off, uh, that was Mario, I would suggest, too, giving... Oh, it'd be unusual for Mario to dish out a bit, wouldn't it? Well, yes. But McLean seems to be OK, and he's now going to kick the ball long. Up to half forward. In front there was Moosen. The ball does drop short. Oh, good hands there to the running uh, Lockyer. That was from his teammate there. I think you'll find that was number 32 in McGrath. Uh, McGrath. But the kick is astray, and uh, the Eastern Suburbs defence goes defensive. 
goes to the outer side, finds Watson, racing through the uh, half-back flank position. Kick is a shocker. Coming through now, we see Spence feed off a nice hand pass to the running Richardson. Steadies, looks up the ground for Mooson in front. Oh, that's got to be Hobie. a free kick umpire. Hobie's oh, taken the football. Could have got 50 there too, Ron. Think, yes, could have been 50, but I think you'll find that Paul Mason should have received the free kick. No, oh, we'll settle the, for the uh, mark at this stage. But uh, this young fellow's pretty excited about it. He's already kicked one goal after being moved up to the forward line. Mm, are we looking for something a bit reminiscent of a Teddy Hopkins uh, effort running? Well, let's, uh, let's hope so from a Matawari point of view as he stabs at that Sadly one. Sadly offline. Well, yeah, but the idea was right. Uh, keeping the ball low, you know, that low trajectory drop yes. punt. But unfortunately, uh, for the youngster in Mark Hovey, is offline for another minor score. I don't know whether you picked that up there, Ronnie, but Hovey doesn't kick through the ball. He stabs at the ball rather than kicks through, which is uh, a bit of a fault, I think, in his game, but still. We see Eastern Suburbs now going to attack. Uh, Mason's there, but so is Richardson. Oh, good tackle on that Eastern Suburbs player for mine. Should be penalised for holding the football. But uh, the umpire in Mark Kirby says, give it to me, fellas, for another bounce. 55 metres from the Eastern Suburbs goal. The both Bruckman missed the, uh, the leather on that occasion. Quick kick there goes to Wood. Wood now goes long oh, in yes. front. Great mark to... Uh, here he is again, popping up uh, young Mark Harvey. Yes, he's showing, he's showing Jimmy Douglas a clean... Uh, oh. what, what's the term? I've lost it at the moment, Ronnie. Pair of uh, heels, I was Clean suggesting. pair of heels at this stage of proceedings. And uh, he kicks a goal again. There's that stabbing action and he's penetrated the middle at this Stabbed stage. right through the centre. To bring up Matawari's... Uh, what have we got? That's their sixth goal sixth now. Sixth goal now, and we see Matawari coming back into the game. They're clawing their way back. We see Matawari uh, 6, 8. Now, that's hard to do. That's... Uh, 44. 44. Recent suburbs are on... 9 goals. 9 goals, three. 3. Come 57. on. 57. Thanks, Ronnie. Once you get That's over right. 21, I've got to take my <laughs> pants off. I'm in real strife, I tell you. <laughs> but still, the bounce. Ruckman set themselves. Oh, I got a bit keen there, but still. The bounce. Ruckman set themselves. <laughs> Sounds like action replay. <laughs> Wood goes up, gets the tap. Richardson's in there. Oh, he got that one a bit high. And yes, we'll take the kick and a 50 metre penalty. Thank you very much. Thank you, umpire. Well, I, I've seen a few. I thought that uh, could have been 50 metres. I thought that 50 metre was fairly ordinary, Ryan. It was just yeah. a. Actually, the umpires have let a few things go, haven't they? Mm, I think so. I think so. Anyway, we see Richardson now from some. Uh, with the aid of that 50 metre penalty, comes in from some uh, 25, 30 metres out. Kicks for goal. Oh, what a and great looking yes. kick. Yes, he's put it through. Thank you, he says. What a great goal. Yes, Motta Warrior coming right back now at this third quarter. He'll be pretty pleased with himself at the moment, that Richardson boy. Well, that's Peter Richardson's first, and uh, I'll tell you what, Motta Warrior right back in this. Mm. Back into attack again, too. But there's all Eastern Suburbs defenders there. The uh, kickoff. Uh, pit though is a poor one and goes straight to the arms of the big centre half back in Craig Spence. Spence redirects traffic too, that's good football or oh, over oh, the top, uh, ah. great mark Michael Moose. He's got good hands this bloke Ronnie. Oh, they're the size of uh, I don't know, they're hands? the size of a, well, what would you like to think? Size of a bloody pumpkin. Oh, it's kicked up a good defensive work there by uh, Bailey. Gives it off to uh, the running pit. Oh, hello, we've got hello, a little bit of an altercation hello. at centre half Ooh. forward. Oh, oh if there, you Spence, don't mind, did you see that runner in there, Ronnie? That's fairly ugly. We've got this now. Look at this, Ronnie. Who's got the the runner's got the player there? Don't yes. Oh, look at oh. that. The runners wearing a few too. Oh, and there's trainers down. They're all into it, Ronnie. Oh, I see Douglas in there. Who's he going to hit? Oh, he's hit no one. Oh. What an ugly scene here Ooh. at the Western Oval uh, during this third quarter. My word. Unbelievable. Oh, they're, they're still at it, Ronnie. Unbelievable. Has the book come out? This is the ugly side of football. This is well, very what's that ordinary. What's runner doing on the ground? I've got no idea. Did you see him slam one into the player then? And he wore a couple in return and well deserved to. He shouldn't be there. He should not be there. Well, they're sorting themselves out now. Almost dropped me stubby there, Ron. Unbelievable no? state of affairs here at the Western Oval. Uh, late in this third and a very vital quarter for both sides. 
as uh, we see one player coming off the ground here in uh, David Peters. The siren has sounded to terminate a uh, pretty nasty uh, third quarter here at the Western Oval. I'm not sure. I don't think the siren has gone. Has it? It's still Ooh, going on. Reggie, going. Reggie, Reggie has to... remonstrated. Oh, did you see that? Carl McLean's into it. There's that runner again. Oh, Reggie Spunner remonstrated with uh, Craig Spence on that occasion and uh, this could turn fairly ugly, I think. Unbelievable. It's oh, not good sure. for football, Ron. It's not good. I think the umpires just should get this game underway. Get the boys' minds back on the job. I don't know whether you picked that up there, Ron, but uh, whilst our camera was focusing on the uh, fight, the Eastern Suburbs team took it away and kicked a very comfortable goal, which could prove very, very costly in the... Uh, final result of the game. Oh, Reggie's still in there. Oh, oh did you see that? that Look at that. There's hand. that runner grabbing the Mottawari players again. It shouldn't happen, Ron. No, he should be ordered off the ground. He's got no place to be out there. What's happening now? I see the trainers. Trainers there talking to the players. The umpires look a bit flustered at the moment. They're not quite sure what to do. As, I, as I've said to you, there has been a goal kick by the Eastern Suburbs Club. Right, well, that's a nameless one because uh, I missed that particular no, goal. No, we're not I too sure. And uh, there's been a whistle too. There's been a whistle here at the centre bounce. What's happened? It's a centre square infringement and it looks as though that kick will go to the Mottawari Club. I think Eastern Suburbs is a little bit rattled at the moment, Ronnie. Yes, I think they could be because... Uh, they not only might lose the uh, fight, they could lose the game. Well, I mean, you know, there's a long way to go yet, but I think uh, when they start uh, doing that sort of business, it's uh, it's not good for football. Well, no, I think uh, they uh, could have been the instigators there. As we see, the scoreboard shows that Eastern Suburbs, 10 goals, 2-62. 12-point leaders over Mottawari now have come right back into this game of football on 7-8-50. Ball forced forward, we see coming through there, good uh, quick kick there, uh, but it goes straight to uh, Douglas. I think you'll find that was off the uh, boot of the dashing wingman there in uh, Lockyer. Yes. OK, Douglas now with the football. Uh, see the ball kicked out to uh, the centre wing again on the outer side. Oh, that was good football there off the boot there of, uh, I would think, uh, Bungy, I could suggest. Uh, following it up now, no, it was Cairns. He's up there again on half forward. Ooh, oh, that was a pretty rash hard. tackle there by the Shark. And uh, no, no, it looks like that's uh, that number twelve is on the ground now in Scott Lumsden. Yes, so that was a uh, that was a fairly uh, fairly uh, coarse tackle, I suppose would be the word, wouldn't it? Yes, certainly anyway. so. As we see a nice mark taken now in the centre of the ground uh, by uh, Chris Noon, but there's been a, a free a kick. Sean and, uh, McGrath Sean has McGrath, the ball. Yeah. Kicks it down towards the centre line. Meeson sets himself. Can't mark. Ball's in no man's land at the moment. Out come this and so is defence. Oh, but Peter Richardson snuck in. Got the quick hands out to the Mottawari player there. I think that was Davis, but uh, he handles it on. Smith has it. Kicks long towards the wing area. It's over the heads of players and the Eastern Suburbs player has it on the wing area. Kicks long once again. Good mark there by Shark, but no... The ball, I think, was out of bounds on the full. Yes, a good call there uh, from the Mottawari uh, president here in uh, Denzo Lewis. Exceptional stuff here at the Western Oval. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Watson has it now. Falls over, goes for... The, and I think uh, Eastern Suburbs boys are heading towards the boundary line as we see the scoreboard reading Mottawari 7-8-50. Eastern Suburbs once again. Good kicking. We've mentioned that a couple of times today. 10 to 62. Approaching 20 minutes of the third quarter. Peter Lockie has the ball. Side steps nicely there, but has tackled. Davis fires a touch of the fumbles. And yes, oh, that was a, a little bit hard. Oh, yes, my word. You've got to go, the umpires, you've got to go for the, give the bloke down the ball a chance anyway. But the ball's come down, it's marked by Jimmy Henderson in the half-back line. Kicks towards the centre area, up towards Meeson. 
but there's too many Essendon suburbs there, blokes there, and they get it away through strength of numbers up towards Wayne Bungy at the uh, uh, Senar forward area. He kicks long, looking for someone down up forward. Oh, uh, the high flyer there was Johnny Perello, but he couldn't bring it down. Tackle, oh, oh good tackle, tackle there. By, good uh, tackle there by young uh, Dale McGuinness. It uh, was Ronnie. Tackling, he's a very strong tackler, very fierce. Not in a that, real uh, uh, big uh, physique on the fella either, but oh, uh, it's ton of guts. tough. Oh, ton of guts. In that uh, back pocket area, is very, uh, very solid, very solid. Anyway, the ball's now out of bounds, and I think it's over the fence, Ronnie. Well, this is going to delay uh, delay uh, time because the umpires won't go and get it because uh, they won't be covered by their insurance. And knowing these umpires, they're liable to break a leg or limb. Oh, well, with any luck, they will, Ronnie. I'd suggest at this stage of proceedings. Anyway, the ball's now back into play. Out, co out comes uh, the Motorway player over Dineen, to Davis. Was. Chrissy Denoon over to Ashley Davis down at the forward line. Oh, now there's an ominous sign there. Bertie Van Barr has got a very nasty limp up there. Do you think that knee or hamstring is giving him trouble, well, Ron? It could be the hammy that's playing up there. And uh, we see that the umpire has uh, picked one out again. And it's going to go to Alan Rundle, the first rover for the Eastern Suburbs side. Uh, on half back out of side, kicks to half forward. Uh, and a lovely mark taken there by the Shark. Plays on. Goes short looking up there for Spina, Spiner. Oh, oh football play. though from the uh, dashing fullback in Matthews. Kicks the ball long to half forward. <laughs> this is Premiership football. As we see now that the Eastern Suburbs uh, defence stands firm and clears the ball back to the outer side wing. Players throwing themselves in at the leather again. As we see uh, on the bottom of the pack there is Ashley Davis for the Motawari side. But the umpire said, look, give me a, have a, a Captain Cook at the leather. And he's going to have another bounce. Out of side, centre wing position. The big fellow, Mick Wood, uh, with that uh, famous number eight on his back, wins the tap down, but it's what? sharked by the, uh, the Motawari people. Why is that number eight famous, Ronnie? Oh, mate, uh, yours truly proudly wore it on the 78 grand final side for the New Down boys. Uh, who'd you steal it off? Come on. <laughs> Actually, yeah. There's oh, if you don't mind, there's that. a couple of more there. But, uh, that's another story. We see that, uh, oh, he's not too good either. Oh, he's mm. broken his arm, that young fella from Eastern Suburbs, I would think. Didn't look too good mm. at all. That was uh, young Mark Cairns, I think, in a little bit of str uh, trouble. Yes, he's done, done himself a very nasty one there. That didn't look good. I hope the young fella's all right. I think it's a rest. Oh, look, here he is now, coming off the ground. Oh, he's obviously in a fair amount of pain. I hope the young fella's OK. Not too good at all, but uh, as we see, uh, Brad Mayan, the, the runner that was uh, involved earlier in a little bit of an ugly scene, Ashley... Uh, Number 48 there, Ashley uh, Simpson coming back on. As we see now, breaking clear uh, through that wing position was Lockyer. Goes short there looking for uh, Chrissy Denoon, but it's over his head and goes straight to the arm of the uh, fullback in uh, Jimmy Douglas. Douglas now goes back, oh, the kick's a poor one. Mickey Wood couldn't take it, but oh, the Shark tries to shark the ball, but uh, he is not successful. A quick kick there by Skeen. the halfback flanker in Skeen. Goes the ball now long. A bit of McLean. McLean kicks long, looking for someone down forward. There's not a lot there. It's very scrambly football, and the ball is pushed out. It's eventually taken by Richardson down to in the area of Meeson. Meeson can't get it. Out goes uh, Chrissy Danoon. He's looking for someone to give it to. Just gets a quick little kick. Yeah, there's a whistle on play. Well, oh, I couldn't see that one, Ronnie. No, could you? I think that might have been a behind the play job. Could it? Mm, I'm not 100% sure there. I think uh, <laughs> they're, they're a bit tricky. These umpires. Yeah, couldn't pick their ass half of them, but still. <laughs> Bailey has it. Kicks Eastern Suburbs into attack. It's at the centre area now. Up they go. In goes Davis. Davis has the ball smothered off the boot. In goes Danoon, picks it up well, looks for someone out wide, kicks, no, he turns around, kicks it forward, the ball is smothered there. Richardson once again has the ball, kicks towards the Motawari forward line, where we see it go through for the, in, what do they say, Ronnie, isn't it, th in the minor region, isn't that's that it. the one? That's the one. Where we see now on the uh, Coca-Cola scoreboard, Motawari move on to, I know they're 51 points, I don't know what the score is, but uh, some... What is it? Eight, nine, seven, nine. Seven, nine, fifty-nine to uh, ten to sixty-two. Very good, very good. As uh, we're back out at uh, half back, and there's been a uh, uh, a marker, I think, taken, and it's looked like Craig Spence uh, bringing the ball back into the forward line for the uh, 
Potawari side. Uh, Mooson can't take the football, but Johns can, though, for the uh, Eastern Suburbs side. Kicks to the outer side of the ground. Shark thumps the ball down, and it's well trapped there by Watson. Goes to half forward. It goes over some players' heads, but Matthews there, the ever-reliable full-back there for the uh, Mottawari side. Uh, traps the ball and kicks it long, but uh, unfortunately for him, the... Uh, the breeze has got hold of the, uh, the leather again and dragged it straight out of bounds on the full. As we see that uh, young Can seems to be repaired all of a sudden. Well, that, that's a good sign, Ronnie. He uh, looks as though he's prepared to take his place in the uh, arena once again. OK, just waiting now on uh, Watson to bring the ball back into play. Goes short, looks there for Johns and finds him in front of his opponent on that occasion in uh, Sean McGrath. Plays on now, kicks the ball along looking for uh, the big fella in... Uh, in Bungie, but he can't take the football. Coming through now, we see uh, Bungie traps the, kicks the ball under pressure. The ball holds up though, high, wide and handsome. Uh, Wayne Stiles is there and uh, sees the ball now out of bounds. Around about 35 metres from the um, Eastern Suburbs goal. Must compliment you there, Ronnie, on a uh, typical football cliche. High, wide and handsome was very good. <laughs> well, I think we could probably use a few of them a bit later on in the call, but thank you. We see the ball brought back into play. Now we get to knock, and uh, we'll see the umpire says, dare I say it, give it to me, boys. How many times I've lost count, my biro's run out of ink the times that these blokes have balled the ball up. Mm. How about making a few decisions, fellas? As you're drinking, I'd, uh, you could pull one out somewhere along the line. Not, not real keen on this, uh, Ronnie. I think I'd prefer to see the... Uh, Game flow on a little bit yep. more. Give a few more free kicks. Keep it open. Keep it running. It's the name of the game. Lovell uh, flicks out a hand pass to the big fella running like a little rover in Trevor McCormick, or Terry, I should say. In front there was Oh, Campbell. good mark. Yeah, great mark under pressure there from uh, Peter Lockyer as... Uh, well, Bomber. to his friends as Rowdy, and uh, he was pretty rowdy there, too. Mm. He hit him pretty hard. Yes, Bomber obviously wasn't pissed yesterday, and he's taken a good mark there. <laughs> Down at the Eastern Suburbs forward line, it's pushed force through... The minor region, there's another football cliche, Ronnie. It's forced through the minor region and we see... Hello, we've lost a bit of play here anyway. Spence has the ball somewhere on the wing area. John's on his mark. Drives the Mottawari Football Club into attack. Kicks wide. Looking for Mason. Yes, that's a good mark that's by Paul mark. Mason. That, that's a, that's typical of his play, Ronnie. He takes his takes those good marks. I think both both the Mason boys have got good hands, and they uh, always seem to. Uh, well, they've got a bit of extra out. height on their side as well, aren't they? They're yeah. big boys. Oh my word! Anyway, he kicks it up forward. No, aimed to no one in particular. Oh, I thought the Mottawari player there was caught with the ball. Whiffen, Whiffen's playing the ball out now. Looks out towards the noon. The noon's trying to pick it up, can't manage it and once again it's very scrambly play but it's brought out by that man Weed oh I thought he dropped that one then but uh, the umpire like calls Scott. play on, Hovey has the ball has a quick shot for goal and if you don't mind umpire put your glasses down, what he's put it through it for another one <laughs> what a great goal, Mark Hovey's third for the oh, afternoon oh third in the quarter, he's had a big quarter Ronnie, yes it's been a match winning move by uh, the coach of the Mottawari side in uh, Bricker Smith as we see now, the uh, Coca-Cola scoreboard shows that uh, Mottawari looking a little bit more respectable now. Trailing Eastern Suburbs only by seven points. They're on 8-9-57. Uh, Eastern Suburbs 10-3-63. I don't know whether you picked up the other football cliche there, Ronnie, but put your glasses down. I said he's put that one through. Famous man, uh, I would suggest there, Jack Dyer. Oh, if you say. don't mind, umpire. Put, yeah, the horse is bolted. <laughs> That's the one. Uh, listen, I remember listening to a magical replay of... Uh, or broadcast I should say of the uh, Captain Blood 20 minutes into the game and no one knew who was playing, who who was scoring it was a great game but still that's another story Johns now has the ball on the Eastern Suburbs <laughs> half forward line, Lockyer chips in, gets the handball, gets it over to Wood, Wood looks downfield kicks long, who's there for the Mottawari side, oh Meeson fumbled it got by Kristen, oh he threw that one out I thought there Ronnie and yeah. that pole's there again piss off pole but still the ball's up for it. Oh, I think it was out of bounds. Yes, the umpire has suggested that uh, the ball be uh, transmitted back to the boundary umpire to uh, throw the ball in. I missed that one there with the uh, pole, but there was a definite throw out there by Chrissy Danoon. Look, Lou, it could have been a Teddy Witten flick pass, but still, <laughs> that's another story. Gans has it now. He seems to have recovered OK up towards the centre line. Jimmy Henderson, not a warrior there in numbers. Jimmy get, tries to get it away. Card, oh, Johnny Perello comes in. Bungie picks up the ball, kicks these and suburbs into attack. 
Number 12, I don't know. Scotty, Scotty, Lumsden. Scotty Lumsden, I think so. He's got the ball now. Wayne Styles leads the play out and will comfortably see it out oh. on the bounce. Oh, that... in the back, and I think you'll have to think, oh, it suggests you would deserve a free kick there. Could be fairly nasty over by that bike track Ooh, area. No Ronnie, I've seen some nasty things happen over there. Quite a lengthy third quarter due to a couple of ugly incidences. We see uh, we see the time clock in the, the red. 30 minutes gone off this third quarter. Well and truly. Oh, good hands over there by from Spence. Over to, oh, he's copped that one a bit high. Will we see a kick downfield? I think we should at this stage. Fungi remonstrating with the umpire, but I couldn't see that one myself. And I, yes, you heard it, folks. I tipped it. There's a free kick downfield. Anyway, the ball's quickly taken away. Spence, I, did he handball it then, Ronnie? He did. Ooh, I don't think he can do that anymore. Anyway. Enough of that. Not picked up. Oh, what a kick. What a goal. A left footer there by Mark Hobie. That was skill. Look at the boy. He's happy with himself too. Four goals. Mark He's Hobie. happy. That showed great skills there, but I thought um, probably not many people picked it up. Did you see the nice little shepherd there from Mark Whiffen to allow Mark Hobie to uh, come in and pick up the ball there? Good team football has given Matawari their ninth goal for the, uh, the game and uh, a great quarter of football as they've piled on six goals for this term to Eastern Suburbs' measly one goal too. Well, Ronnie, at this moment now, 9-9 nine, nine to 10-3, scores are level. Are we now we're going to pull out the footy cliches? I think we'll be back next week, Roddy. What do you think about that one? <laughs> yeah, it's possible in this finals football. Oh, it's tough stuff, isn't it? Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> oh, well Great smothered mother. there. Well smothered yeah, there. Was I think that was Spence, by Spence. Yes, yes. yes. It's, it's yes really from... sacrificed his body there too, and has copped one uh, nastily there in the ribs. But uh, Craig Spence is pretty tough. Oh, tough as like a hessian bag full of roof and nails, mate. I tell you. Anyway, the ball has bounced, no one gets a tap. Richardson's in the bottom of the pack, burrowing away. Can't, he gets it clear, heads towards Meeson. Meeson takes a very good mark on his chest, very low down. Very low down on his chest, that sounded good, but still. He kicks forward, looking for his brother. Up, oh, Johns wasn't terrible. Was that Johns? No, there was a free kick. I think that was Mark Cairns, yes. Mark That's Cairns. the boy. Mark Cairns will get a free kick there. He was just given a little shove there by... Uh, Meeson and yeah, a little uh, bit tough because I thought uh, Mr. Meeson's eyes were firmly all entrenched on the football. Yeah, his eyes might have been on the ball, but his hands were in his back, so I suppose there's not a lot you can do about that anyway. Uh, Cairns brings the ball into attack and side ran. Three quarter time here. We have, uh, well, Ronnie, they don't come much closer. I'm not a worry. A great third quarter have come right back into this game. They're on 9-9-63. Eastern Suburbs, a fairly ordinary quarter. I think they might have got a little bit flustered there. Mottawari got their running game going. They're on 10-3-63. Scores are level.